Hey Psych2Goers and welcome back to our channel. Thank you so much for all the love that you've given us. Your ongoing support has helped us make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone. As a quick disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only and is not designed to self-diagnose signs or symptoms of emotional exhaustion. If you can relate to any of the signs in this video, we encourage you to speak to your doctor and seek medical advice if necessary. With that said, let's continue. Do you get overwhelmed by the stresses of life? Do you wind up feeling anxious when you get stressed out like this? Experiencing some daily stress and anxiety is normal, but over time, chronic stress can take a toll on your body. Emotional exhaustion is caused by a long period of excessive stress, whether from personal stress at home or stress related to work or school. The American Psychological Association's David Ballard describes burnout as an extended period of time where someone experiences exhaustion and lack of interest in things, resulting in a decline in their performance. Emotional exhaustion will differ from person to person. And it's important to note that what might be stressful for one person may be more manageable for somebody else. If you've been dealing with burnout and emotional exhaustion, understanding what your triggers are will help you manage them. Here are eight things that can lead to emotional exhaustion. Number one, high pressure environments. Are you dealing with parents or teachers who have high expectations? Or perhaps you're working with a boss who is too demanding. Those with demanding parents, workplaces and school environments, and those who work as police officers, nurses, social workers, and teachers may be more at risk for emotional exhaustion and burnout than others. For example, Medical professors in the early stages of their career show higher indicators of emotional exhaustion and burnout risk, according to a 2014 study from the Netherlands. Research shows that people with high performance demands and those who are preoccupied with thoughts about work and school during leisure time are more at risk of emotional exhaustion. Two, working and studying for long hours. How many hours do you work or study a day? Working and studying long hours may have some perks in terms of financial or intellectual gain, but that does not mean that it does not impact your emotional well-being. If you're overworking or overstudying, you're sacrificing the quality time you could have with friends and family. You also miss out on your personal hobbies and time to relax. Not having a balance can tip you towards emotional exhaustion rather than maintaining a proper study life or work life balance. Number three, financial stress or poverty. Are you often worried about having to pay for bills, housing, running a car and groceries and food? These are all vital needed provisions and they often don't come cheap. If you're worried about money, this can be a big factor that leads you to emotional exhaustion. This is especially true if you have to work longer hours or work an extra job to make ends meet. You might be stuck feeling that you have too few personal resources such as status, money, or support. Number four, living with a chronic illness, medical condition, or injury. Dealing with illness or injury can be exhausting in and of itself, especially if it hinders your daily life and ability to function as you would like to. Some conditions can have a significant physical impact on you, which can cause emotional exhaustion, especially if it's hard to manage that condition or if you have little support. Number five, perfectionism. If you're someone who strives for perfectionism, then you may experience emotional exhaustion and burnout in one or more areas of your life. Numerous studies have shown that perfectionism puts you at risk for burnout because of the extreme amount of pressure you put yourself under. You may be dealing with excessive stress by taking on more than you can comfortably manage. Number six, loneliness. Are you surrounded by people in your life, but you still feel lonely? Loneliness may increase feelings of emotional exhaustion because when you don't have many close relationships, you don't have anyone to share your feelings with. Research suggests that fostering social relationships may help potentially lessen the harmful effects of burnout by promoting resilience and a sense of greater well being. Number seven, poor self care. Do you get enough sleep at night? Do you exercise and eat healthily? If you struggle with your personal well being and self care, this can also play a factor in emotional exhaustion. For example, some research links insufficient sleep with a greater risk of burnout. Excessive use of alcohol or drug use may also increase this risk, especially if you use these instead of more constructive coping techniques. And number eight, significant life changes. 
Have you dealt with a breakup or divorce in your life or the death of a loved one? Significant life changes can throw you into a whirlwind of emotions and situations, some of which you may never have experienced before. You may turn to harmful coping strategies, such as drugs or alcohol, to deal with your high levels of stress. Periods of excessive stress can cause emotional exhaustion. So looking out for some of the symptoms can help you take steps to improve them. Lifestyle changes and stress reduction methods can help. According to one research study, people who practice mindfulness report significantly less emotional exhaustion and more job satisfaction than those who do not use mindfulness techniques. Did you relate to any of these signs of emotional exhaustion? If you did, share your experience with us in the comments below. Please like and share this video if it helped you and you think it could help someone else too. The studies and references used are listed in the description below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell icon for more Psych2Go videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.